silicone enough to balance. Hi guys, happy Saturday. I still sound like nothing new, clearly. Today, David and I are doing our errands. We woke up late. Also, update on my sickness. I, the cat woke me up at five, so I was gonna go back to sleep and then I ended up just feeding her and then I went back to sleep and David and I woke up at 9.30. Got ready quick, I'm wearing makeup today because I'm gonna try and film my Black Friday haul for you guys too. There's that, but I still don't have a fever. I'm just really congested and my throat hurts and my tonsil stones are back. I don't think I told you guys about that. I have tonsil stones, but only in one tonsil. So fun. So that's been an adventure and it's been happening like the last few weeks. This whole week it hasn't been happening until now. So I'm not gonna show you because I'm not gonna like, you know, I know some people, I'm one of those people that likes to watch that kind of show. I definitely want to start working out. This is such flattering lighting. Hopefully David can get in and out pretty quickly. Usually we go to a different Dunkin' but this one like usually sucks. I'm getting a green ice green tea today and I put honey in it. I can't function at all. I lost a stone to my wedding band. I don't know if you guys can see that little hole right there in the end of my wedding ring. I mean, I guess five years in, this things are going to start breaking. And I think that probably happened at work or something because my hands do get banged around quite a bit. Hence why I do have short nails at work now. But I'm really sad about it. Like, what? Meh. So I'm definitely gonna maybe next weekend or after Christmas I'll go get it fixed. I just don't feel like dealing with it right now. It's all the way on the end, so you can't tell unless like you know you're really looking at my hand. We're gonna just try and be careful with this ring as much as possible until then. My outfit of the day, which is pretty much like my usual outfit of the day now. I used to like dress to impress on the weekends, and now I kind of dress for comfy and also to impress and to make myself happy. My outfit of the day, I'm wearing my OG Lena the Plug hoodie. If you know, you know. Holy Bible, lol. Um, that's gonna piss some people off. Don't care. I'm wearing some colorful koala leggings. I'm wearing some a Skims bra and tank top, which I discovered I don't like. I'm not buying the extra large tank tops anymore. If I buy tank tops again, I'm just gonna get a large because when I wear them without a bra, they like crease weird and like near my armpits and it makes me look like my chest is really squared, misshapen, and I don't like that. And I'm just wearing usual long socks, my little mini juicy couture boots, Marc Jacobs tote bag with all my in it, including some for my mother that I bought for her because she likes the native lump of coal scent. Native. Samantha. Samantha. Think. So I got her that body wash and then I also got her, I made her chocolate chip banana bread so I'm gonna give that to her today. But my god, you guys hear that? We should have stayed home today. Today's the day we should have stayed home. The wind. Knock off YSL wallet. And I got like a thing from Pink and Victoria's Secret of my order. But anyway, you see this week, I'm gonna do my Black Friday haul. I'm very excited. I'm gonna do some editing today. I'm gonna film that haul. I'm gonna, the video I'm supposed to post Friday up and then the video that's gonna supposed to go up today. I will get those up and we'll be caught up for Vlogmas. And I was saying this on my, inst my not my Instagram story, my TikTok. This is really random. I opened up to you guys that I have been stuck or mostly just, I think I told you guys or maybe it's just on Instagram in my birthday caption. I've been stuck in a narcissistic trauma box for like the last 10 ish years and i never told anybody about it but I, I did tell you guys briefly in videos like this toxic person this toxic person this toxic person that was not just you know this person's bad for me whatever this person traumatized me in many ways i still can't fully wrap my head around if the fact if they really are genuinely a good person deep down or if they're just trying to trick me which i'm just gonna go with the tricking part because if you acted like you cared and wanted to spend so much time with me and do all these things for me and and whatever the the things near the end that this person did for me i did appreciate on the con the deep conversations we were finally able to have but at the same time if all that really mattered i feel like there would have been more to us being friends or whatever and there never was it was always just all right bye and then don't talk to you for months and then reach out when you need something and i always hated that and hence why i've decided to just cut the cord and like i'm done just leave me alone just leave me alone watch me from afar watch me living my life that's fine actually just don't even watch me just leave like sometimes i hear things people or i see stuff online like involving them being a good person and i'm like are you though are you though because what did you put me through for like the last 10 ish years on and off a very very difficult time and i love i love the best part about this is that I opened up to this person, told them something that, that happened to me that was very traumatizing. They were just like, I wish I could have been there. And like, didn't say sorry, didn't say nothing. I was like, okay, well, that's, that was like the, I think that was the start of the aha moment for me. Like, yeah, no, no, this is, this is, this is done. I, I don't wish ill will on people. I really don't. Hope they're happy. Hope they're healing, finding their peace. 
as the same with anyone that I haven't spoken to. Like, I hope you're happy and find your peace and do everything you want and everything comes through for you. That's great. Don't know if you're wishing that for me. Honestly, karma, though. Karma's a beautiful thing. And that's why Taylor Swift Midnight's album is my life right now. I'm ranting too much. I'll see you guys later. I'll try to vlog in Target. I need stuff from grocery in that way. But I also need to go this way because I want to grab something. Me and Butt Butt together forever. And his legs bothering him, your sciatic nerve. I think it's officially been, oops, sorry. Officially been like two years since you got in that accident. No? I don't know, probably. I don't think they have it here though. I'm gonna have to order it online. There's a TikTok like PJ set that I wanted. That's cute. But you don't have to come in here. I was gonna be quick. Oh, they do have it. What the f extra small. Small. Oh, wait. <laughs> Never mind. I take it back. <laughs> I'm gonna put it on top of the calendar. Okay, we can go. That's the only thing I wanted from over here. Okay, I'll go. I'll go that way then. That's fine. We like big circles. Big circles are fun. No, please don't. David, no, someone's gonna think you're insane. Please don't do that. No, don't do that. Yeah, you keep going in a circle in the same spot. Someone's going to think you're out of your mind or you're on something. I wouldn't do that if I were you. And there's a nugget that's not happy. A little nugget's very upset. But yeah, I got to get some, like, essentially things. And maybe we'll get some grocery things. What do you mean? What do you, why did you make a noise when I said that? I didn't make any noise. I said essentially things. You went... No, I didn't. Yeah, you went... An avocado. So does. Why? I don't know. You throw these. You throw avocados at each other. It looks like. Combine it with throw throw burrito to unlock a new combo game. So give me one. I'll throw it at you. Oh my god. I'd rather have cards cards against humanity. I'm a little. This is. What is that? That's a puzzle. I think I need this. I don't know about you, but I am a little crabby all the time. That's where you claim all the math. Alright, do we have to get any more gifts while we're here? I have to get something for my grandpa, but and my grandma, but I think I just might get it from Amazon today. And your aunt. This is a remix Halsey song. Oh my gosh, I remember when I first discovered Halsey and I was working out and I live live my best life. Oh, we're gonna start working out again after the new year. I need to like do something for my mental health. I'm shocked I have as much energy as I do right now, to be honest with you. I really need to figure out my camera settings. This is just not like cute at all. I already did a TikTok haul of the stuff I got from Target today, but I figured I would show you guys anyway because why? Just why not? First, we got some blooms because this is all over my TikTok. Everyone's using these. I figure this might be better for me to do in the morning like when I'm sitting in my car, as you guys know, like I do for the hour before I go into work. And then we can just have a chat, have some blooms. These are the berry flavor. And also like I do take my vitamins. I do the eight greens that I take, but at the same time, I forget to take them a lot. Like I've forgotten the last couple days because I've been sick and I just was like, Ugh. But when I take them, I'm great. My digestion's great. Everything's wonderful. Take I take them in contingent and in, in unison and I take them with a probiotic vitamin D and elderberry. Basically, I just I wanted to try these. They're hyped everywhere. So I got those. I got some native I was gonna say shampoo. <laughs> it's not shampoo. This is toothpaste. Um, the wild mint and peppermint oil. I bought this when David was away. Fun fact. That's how I remember like the first time I ever bought this. And I really like this toothpaste a lot. So uh, Native is like my favorite brand, I think, for a lot of stuff now. Speaking of, I picked up the sugar cookie lotion. I didn't know this came in a lotion. And I saw it and I was like, okay, well, we're going to get it. We're going to add to the collection. Fun fact. I'm using the candy cane body wash that I bought last year from Native. And the packaging is different. And it's a little uh, chunky. It's not breaking me out or anything so we're still gonna use it more therabrath this is my favorite one love this one so much we got some puffs individuals because they didn't have the up and up brand i sneeze all the time i need to restock everything in my life 
We got a calendar for probably, I was gonna put this in the bedroom because I bought a dry erase calendar from Aldi's like a while ago. I've been waiting to use it until the end of this year, but I think I might put that one actually in here because I do have a calendar in here now for like mostly stuff we have, Dave and I have going on because we don't always directly look at the fridge, you know? So I can look at it at night and stuff and I don't have to go in the kitchen and be like, okay, what do we have next week? I know we have something on someday, but I don't remember. That way we have two calendars, so we know. And also it's it started out mostly just for me and all my stuff migrated to Davis. I have a loaf of gooby bread here. Gooby! Oh! Flossers because David so David just bought a water flosser for us which is an adventure in itself because we just tried it last night as you guys saw from the footage and or from the last vlog it's an adventure I still bought these for me though just the up and up brand one of these in my car for like when I get stuff stuck in my teeth or in the mornings because I think I explained my TikTok if you didn't already watch that that I don't have time to flush my flush my teeth I don't have time I don't have time to flush my teeth in the morning no I don't have time to floss my teeth in the morning so i'm gonna keep one of these in my car and then we have a backup for the bathroom um and last but not least i got the viral tiktok and i this is so cute because it comes with socks this colsey pajama set shet i was gonna say shet pajama set which it has like all like a little holly bead i'm done today we're done i'm done holly berries and leaves on there and it's just a long sleeve shorts and sock set and it was on sale for like 17 something because this is originally 25 so i had to get it i also just filmed my black friday haul probably gonna be really all over the place because i had to switch batteries and then i edited it on my phone anyway but i'm probably gonna just go edit now and relax and listen to some fireplace crackles or whatever hopefully my computer cooperates today she just picks her days you know when she wants to like be here when she just doesn't i think i might refill it like tomorrow because it just i don't know like it just was not giving what it needed to give for me